Hi guys, welcome back. Jolly July day 20. Um, okay, so yesterday the spinner chose the Christmas gnomes, which is this one. Lovely picture, I just can't seem to find any colour. <laughs> so what I did was I picked the green symbol which is a, like a very, very pale mint green. And I basically just worked as much of the green symbol as I could see. So there was some down here. Some little bits over there. And some filled in some bits here. So yeah, that's, that's what I did. Nothing too exciting to see. But none of the colours are very exciting. So um, I just thought, well, do you know what? I'll just pick one and work as much of that colour as I can um, in the, you know, the um, in the time that I have. So, right. Oh, I need to charge my tablet later on. Oh, sorry guys, one second, we've just got an advert. Hopefully it will go away very soon. It doesn't look like it's going to go away very soon. <laughs> Gosh. Oh dear. Well, it's advertising a game about fish. <laughs> Whatever that is. Yeah, come on, hurry up now. The ads aren't usually this long. Why is this one so long and all the rest aren't? Don't understand. Anyway. Jolly July Day 20. So, three, two, one, go. It's the Christmas brown bear. Again. <laughs> oh, gosh. Right, give me a second, guys. I'll get this sorted and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. So Christmas Brown Bear is this one. This one really wants to be stitched on because this has come out so many times. It's unbelievable. So, yeah, this is what we're... Sorry, I've got a big fly in, in here and it's annoying me. It needs to go away or I'll have to get the fly spray out. Just go away. The dog's tried to get it when it's gone near her and everything. <laughs> Bless her. So we are working on this orange symbol here, this orange circle symbol. And it is colour number 3863. Uh, this is a 14 count, remember guys. So... I'm just going to fold this over so it's easier to hold. Okay, so we have orange symbol here. There we go. There we are. Right, so how is everybody doing? I hope everyone is okay and having a good day so far. <clears throat> It's an absolutely lovely day here today, and it was lovely yesterday as well. So, I said to my mum, she must have taken the weather with her when she went on holiday, because it rained every single day when they were gone. And then, you know, the day after they come back, it starts being lovely. So, yeah, I blame them. It's, uh, it's their fault. They took the weather with them and left us with the rain. So, me and the dog have been out for a little stroll. I won't say the W word, because otherwise she'll go crazy and probably want to go again. And we were out for an hour before, so we're not going again. And basically, that flies there again. Go away! Um, basically, um, on one of the places that we uh, where we walk... Um, 
there's a house and it always has lovely flowers in the front garden and a while back um oh gosh there was these flowers that i saw they were absolutely stunning they were beautiful and they were like um a really what have i done here why have i oh yeah that's why okay Sorry guys, really not paying any attention to what I'm doing here. Too busy talking about flowers and walking dogs. Um, so yeah, this 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 house had these beautiful, beautiful flowers. Now to me they look like a really dark, deep purple. Um so I was, you know, saying to my dad, I'm gonna have to get a picture of um these flowers so you can tell me what they are. Um, and we can, you know, I can try and get some because they're, oh, they're absolutely stunning, these flowers. Anyway, as we were walking today, um, we just sort of started on our way back. And I saw the guy come out of his house at the house where these flowers were. I thought, right, I'm going to ask him. <laughs> so I just said, excuse me, it was, a, it was an older an older gentleman um so i just said excuse me could i just ask you a question please and he said oh ask away what would you like to know i said you had some flowers um a couple of months back in um your front garden uh, and they were like a really really deep dark purple color and he went oh i know what you're talking about he went they weren't purple he says they were black tulips i was like really they were so beautiful. And he said, yeah, he says, um, they can be quite difficult to get hold of. He says, but if you go online, you should be able to find some. I was like, oh, brilliant. Thank you so much. And then we just got talking about flowers and stuff and this, that and the other and gardens. And I was saying how big my garden is. Um, and he went, I bet it's not as big as mine. And he was like trying to explain to me how big the back garden was. Anyway, his, his wife came out and she joined in the conversation. And he says, tell you what, he says, come back and have a look. So he took me into um, his back garden. Oh, wow. Absolutely stunning. It's huge. Absolutely massive, this back garden. But he's got like a vegetable patch. He's got a greenhouse where he's growing veg. He's got. Uh, like an archway with logan berries growing over it um oh just one second folks sorry about that folks that was um an amazon delivery um some junk journaling supplies so yeah where was it up to um archway logan berries stunning so i walked through this archway into another bit at this massive back garden and he had like um what used to be his outside toilet i've still got my building for my outside toilet there's no toilet or anything in it but the building is still there anyway he says oh you've seen what i've done with mine and i went oh what have you done with it and he went come and have a look so i had a look he's made a fish pond there's fish in it <laughs> it's lovely um so then, yeah, he's got all these flowers and bushes and it's absolutely stunning. Absolutely beautiful. He's got like an old boat, like a rowing boat. And he he says, um, you know, he plants flowers in that. Um, and he puts like uh, a wooden pole up to the middle of the boat. And then he has flowers growing up there so that it looks like the mast of the boat. I'm like, wow. <laughs> And then at the top, he's got this huge pond. It, it's empty now. Um, he's, he was telling me that um, basically he'd, uh, he had like um, carp in this pond and everything. I mean, it was massive. But he said, unfortunately, someone came, stole all the carp out of his pond and then slipped the lining of the pond so that it it was you could it you know it wasn't a pond anymore so yeah he said i've just left it i haven't done anything with it he says i don't know whether to 
to try again or not. Or I was like, you can't have anything, can you? People just want to take anything that you've got. It doesn't matter what it is. Stealing fish, for goodness sake. So, yeah. Um, so I was looking around his garden and then we came back out and stood on the front talking to him and his wife. And I was there for ages talking to him. And they're lovely, lovely people. And then his wife turns around and says, oh, I'll tell you something else you can get that's black as well. And I went, what's that? And she went, lilies. I was like, oh my goodness, lilies are my favourite flower. She was like, yeah, you can get black ones. I was like, I need them. I need them in my garden. It's just that simple. So she said, yeah, go online, Google, you know, have a look. You'll, you'll find them. I was like, I need these. I need to have these. The, 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 that would, like, make my life. If I could have some black lilies. Wow. Wowzers. So, yeah, um, that's why we were out for like an hour. Normally, our walk takes about 20 minutes or so. But obviously, I was stood talking to these people for ages um, and having a look around their beautiful garden. Um, so, yeah, we were out for quite a while. Poor Millie just lay down on the path and went to sleep while we were talking. Bless her. I think she was thinking, oh, I've had enough of this, Mum. You're just talking. Like you do at home, you talk to yourself. You get that stand thing out and you put your phone in it and then you just sit and talk to yourself. She was like, I know how this goes. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, we had, a, we had a nice morning. It was lovely going and having a look around his garden. And, yeah. So, really, really enjoyed that this morning. Um, so I came back, I put my washing machine on, um, and I finished off the threads that I already had in the needles, um, of the Christmas gnomes. So I did those and then sort of, I checked on Amazon cause I was expecting the parcel to come, but it said sort of any time between quarter past one and quarter past four. So I was like, well, that's quite a large time frame and I was like well it's not going to come yet you know it, it'll come sort of closer to the quarter past four bit but obviously he's just turned up um so yeah that's that's the extent of what I've done oh, and I've wandered around done some tidying up put some recycling out and yeah so that's what I've done this morning and it's now nearly 20 to 3 in the afternoon so my son will be home in about an hour so yeah so we'll get this done now while no one else is here and you know there's no distractions apart from amazon showing up when they weren't supposed to be showing up just yet so anyway let's get back to this I'm spending far too much time jibber-jabbering on and not stitching. So, yeah. Thank you to everybody who has so far entered the giveaway. Like I said, I will keep this running until Monday. Um, oh, hang on a minute. There we go. I'll keep it running until Monday. Um you know, gives people a chance over the weekend to, you know, see the video and comment if they would like to. Um, so, yeah. I appreciate everybody. Um, everybody who's entered so far. I hope, um, you know, the giveaway prizes are, are okay for everybody. Um, I didn't want to just go down the road of um, giving away, you know, a stamped kit out of my collection and just, I wanted to do something a bit more, bit better than that. So hopefully I've achieved that for you guys. Um, so yeah, we've, uh, we've got that. Um, what else? Ooh. Yeah, it gets really hard to do the sewing method on 
these 14 counts I'm noticing when um, you know when you're surrounded by stitches it's okay to do it when you know there's sort of one side free but um, now it's really difficult when there's when there's um, other stitches surrounding it because you you I can't kind of get the leverage that's needed uh, so yeah it's uh, a bit harder so I might have to just do some up and down stitching I'm afraid if I can even find the hole there we go so yes yeah, so I'm going to have a little go at junk journaling later on I haven't even opened this package yet so I don't I mean I know what should be in it but it doesn't feel very heavy because one of the items that I bought is actually a journal to do it in and I thought it might have made the package a little bit heavier but hmm unless there's um, another package to come yet or something I don't know no I can't get it up and down stitching up and down stitching because yeah, I can't, I can't get the leverage to do the sewing method. Plus, to be fair, it's easier on the um, on my fingers to do up and down stitching. Hi, Millie. Millie's just coming from outside. She was having a snooze before, and my word, the snore's coming off her. Oh, I don't know what I've done here in the back. But I've got a whole heap of thread just sort of hanging out there. So let's just um, try and sew that in a little bit so it's not going to go anywhere. I don't know what, what happened there. But anyway. So yeah, the snore's coming off her earlier on. My word. Would have woken the dead. See, that's her quite happy now. You know, she'll just sort of laze around all day and then when it gets to tea time, she'll have her tea and then, you know, it'll get to sort of about 8 o'clock, maybe 8.30 and that's her done then. She'll go and get in her bed and that'll be that. She's like, nope, it's bedtime for me now, Mum. And that's her done. Uh, right, where are the next ones? There they are. Sorry, just trying to, um, I really, well, now I've been given the opportunity to stitch on this again, I want to try and get that bottom panel finished. So I'll work my way through this orange, this thread I've got for those orange symbols and then I'm going to go back and do this green here. Um, these triangles, fill this in here. Um, there's orange, an orange symbol, a full symbol there to do. So yeah, I'm going to try and fill in this bottom panel so then that's finished then. So then we're just working our way up. That's the plan. So yeah, that's, that's the idea. So I see everybody in the comments on, on my videos and stuff saying that they really like the spinner idea, you know, the wheel spinner, and that some people are already using it and some people are going to start using it next year for their projects and things. I think it's brilliant. I think I might carry on doing it. I might just pick out maybe six projects. I'll have three new ones and three that, uh, you know, three whips and... I'll just work through those, I think. I think I'm just going to carry on doing that because then at least all those six projects, I'll do it for a month, all those six projects will get worked on then throughout the month. 
so it'll be three new ones that I'll be starting but also three of my whips that I can continue with so yeah I think I'm going to do that every month just pick three of new ones three of whips add them into the wheel spinner and away we go yeah I think that's my plan folks yeah unless I get something come in that is like a must work on you know a must start so then if that happens I'll add that into the spinner as well yeah I think that's the plan that's the way forward what do you reckon folks tell me in the comments what you think of that idea um, you know instead of me just randomly picking um, things myself I think I might just carry on with the the spinner the wheel spinner and uh, yeah work through things that way yes but you guys tell me what you think is that something that you know would hold your attention in the videos or do you prefer it when I just randomly pick something to work on or you know what well, let me know what you think um because at the end of the day I create this content for you guys I don't create it for me well I do I suppose because um it helps me you know because obviously I don't I don't go out very often um you know outside to me is scary so having this channel um is suppose it's a way of meeting people um like like I've said a few times you know I'm getting to know a few of you now um like Lexi and Sean and Helen and um Jojo started commenting quite a bit so that's nice hi Jojo um so yeah you know it, it it's lovely getting to know all you guys it really is because you know it, it keeps me going you know so if if anybody you know ever has any suggestions or you know, or there's something you don't like that I do, or if there's something more you would like to see, then comment. Let me know. And I will, you know, see and try my hardest to see if I can I can get it added in into my videos or do separate videos for the for it or whichever. So if is there anything specific you would like to see? Is there anything that I don't do that you would like me to do or you know just that kind of stuff anything just let me know um because at the minute I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants <laughs> every day I do this I just kind of waffle on for a, for a bit and I stitch for a bit and then I go oh, bye then <laughs> Um so yeah. Tell me tell tell me if there's anything that you don't like or anything that you do really like that you would like me to sort of keep doing or stop doing or do more of or you know, let me know. And I will see what I can do for you. But it still absolutely blows me away that out there, there are 208 people that actually enjoy sitting and listening to me just waffle on about my day or, you know, my family or, you know, my illnesses, various ones and... It's like, it's, I'm, I'm still, I mean, I, when I started this channel, I didn't think in a million years <laughs> that I would get probably any more than 50 
subs. I th no, I thought no one's no one's going to watch my channel. No one's going to really enjoy it. I just, you know, I'm too honest and I talk about my illnesses and things too much and no one's going to want to hear it. Everyone just wants to hear stitchy stuff and yeah, it, so it, it's blown me away that I'm at like 208 subs. So, wow. 208 people. Imagine that. You know, I've nearly got more subscribers on here than I have friends on Facebook. <laughs> and these are people that I actually do know. <laughs> well, for the most part. You know, sometimes you've got those people that you're just sort of friends with, but, you know, you don't really know each other very well. But, hey, sod it, we'll be friends. Like it's a friend of a friend or something, you know, that adds you. Or as I tend not to add other people. I'm not, you know, I don't put myself out there like that. You know, it's, uh, I haven't crossed that one. And it's a different colour. Do you think I can get away with crossing it with this colour? Sod it, let's do it. Because it needs crossing, otherwise it's going to be a stitch facing the wrong way. Okay, so we finished that little bit. Sorry guys, a bit of stopping and starting here. But, you know, I'm just working my way across this panel. Trying to get this bit done. And then once that's done, we can move on up. There's a lot of um, half cross in this as well. Like a lot of it at the bottom is half cross and there's a lot at the top that is half cross. So, you know, this is going to move along pretty quickly. I mean, all of this at the top here you know, the green, the orange and the red symbols, that's all half cross. And there's a lot of it, so, you know, it's it's going to move along pretty quickly, I think. Come on, more orange symbols. There we go. And some. So, yeah, I'm, so, I'm really tempted to open this parcel. But I don't want to bore you guys if it's not something that you'd be interested in. I'll wait. I'll wait until I finish my video and then I'll have a look at it. Like I say, I got um, a few bits and pieces yesterday while I was out. And I got a storage box to keep it all in. So I'll have to um, go upstairs and bring down the storage box to keep everything all together and neat and nice and tidy. How long it stays like that for, I'll never know. But to be fair, I keep my cross stitching stuff pretty neat and tidy. You know, I have storage boxes upstairs that um, have got all my kits in. Um, and then I have like, um, like a desk organizer type situation um at the side of my bed on top of one of the full storage boxes um where i keep all of my clips um you know the little tool kits that come when i take them out of um I tend to leave them with uh, kits now. I didn't used to. I used to take them out and put them all together. So, <clears throat> so I have some, um, some little kits there that come. You know the tool kits that come with the actual kits. So I have some of those next to next to where I am, and I've got some sharpies and a lighter for my candle because I have a big candle. Next to my bed. It smells absolutely beautiful. It's called Cherry Fizz. And it does smell just like cherries. It's, oh, lush. Really lovely. Um, what else do I have there? Oh, I have my little jar where I collect all my 
my um, you know ends of threads I don't know why but I am collecting them I have one downstairs next to where I sit and I have one upstairs next to my bed so I have two jars going on that collect all my threads in uh, what else have I got there? I'm trying to think a painkillers in case I get a headache <laughs> um, oh I have um, I have the uh, a load of the little plastic bobbins you know that you wrap your thread around and I have storage storage boxes there that I'm sort of filling up as I go so they're next to the bed as well like, there. like I say, I do try and keep my uh, stitchy things in some sort of neat and tidy order. So then I know where everything is. It's like, you know, if if I'm stitching something, oh, I need that. I know exactly where it is and I can just get it. Instead of thinking, oh, I need that, but where did I put it? You know? So, yeah. I was kind of thinking that um, my order from VIP Cross Stitch might have come today, but it hasn't. So I'm going to have to have a look in the email to see if they sent me a tracking number. Are there any more of these anywhere that I can just use this thread up on? Yeah, there's some there. I don't really want to put this little piece of thread back. I'd rather um, use it. So, yeah, I am trying to keep some sort of order to my stitchy things and my, um, you know, my other crafty type things. I'm trying to keep some sort of order and organisation. <clears throat> I'm sorry if um, the video is picking up on my leg shaking. Um, I actually, I, one of my issues is tremors and my leg is actually shaking at the moment. I'm trying not to let it affect what I'm doing, but it is. It's so annoying when it does this. I'm noticing that at the minute, sometimes it's just literally, you know, it, it, it shakes. Um, but the original tremor that I had in it, well, I've, I've got it in both legs, but it's predominantly in my left leg. Um, it's um, like, you know when you get cramp? Well, it's similar to that. It's like all of my muscles in my legs, like all of them, like or my thigh muscles, you know, my actual normal leg muscles. What was that? I don't know, leaflet of some description. Um, my leg muscles just completely cramp up. My leg shakes and it hurts. Um, so, yeah, I can only get it to stop by lifting my leg. Um, which, as you can imagine when all of the muscles have uh, contracted and gone solid, it's hard to get your leg lifted. Um, but that's the only way I can make it stop. And this is all part of the pernicious anemia because obviously it's, well, not obviously, but uh, because it was left so long before being diagnosed, um, it's now left me with um, irreparable nerve damage 
uh, which is causing the tremors. So, um, you know, there's absolutely nothing I can do about that. Nothing at all. So. Yeah. It's actually stopped now. Thank God. Honestly, it's it's so embarrassing when I'm out, you know, and it happens and you know, people stare at me and, you know, my mum, bless her heart, on a couple of occasions has lost a temper with people and said, you know, do you want to get your phone out and take a picture? It'll last longer. You know, you've never seen anybody with a disability before. Why are you staring at my daughter? You know. She doesn't like it when people stare. Neither do I, to be honest, because I just think, you know... Don't just stare at me. Why don't you come over and ask if I need help? If there's anything that you can do. You know, there's no need to stand and stare. But, yeah. So, yeah, it's very embarrassing when it happens when I'm out. But, to be fair, number one, I don't go out that often. And number two, it doesn't happen very often when I'm out, thankfully. It's more when I'm at home, you know, and then um, I have to get one of the kids to come and help me so that I can lift my leg. You know, they sort of hold on to me so that I don't fall. Honestly, it's it's awful. You know, I don't, I don't want to put my illnesses onto my children too much because I don't want them, especially my son, I don't want him growing up thinking that, you know, he, he has to help mum and I'm, you know, I don't want to put on him too much. But on the other side of it, I know that he doesn't mind, you know, but it's more a me thing that I don't want to, um, I don't want to put on him, you know, he's a kid at the end of the day. But he's a good kid, so, you know, he doesn't mind. He knows mum's got problems and he knows that there are situations where he might have to help mum. And he's fine with that. He's a good kid. And so is my daughter. You know, if, if she's down here and I have an issue, you know, she's more than happy to come and jump in and do whatever needs doing. Okay, so we have filled in this here and this here, done a little bit up here, um, here. So yeah, now I am going to work this, this green colour here, like I say, um, the different arrow shapes I'm going to do, these circles, crosses and um the orange symbol i'm gonna do oh and the blue so we'll see how much of that we can get done before i come back tomorrow so there we go guys we're getting there with this one but it gets picked a lot so <laughs> yeah it does get chosen quite often but never mind it's all got to be stitched right so that's it for today folks um, I really appreciate you coming and spending some time with me and, you know, watching me stitch and talk and all that good stuff. So, if you like this video, please give it a like. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if anybody didn't catch the giveaway yesterday um to enter the giveaway you comment on the giveaway video from yesterday you comment on that saying 200 jolly subs if you would like to enter the giveaway and then i will enter you into it um 
so yeah and if you can think of anybody else that might enjoy my videos then please give me a share um you know i appreciate all of you every single one of you you're all fantastic uh keep the comments coming like i say if there's anything that you want to see that i'm not doing or you want to see less of that i am doing or any suggestions for other things that i can do um let me know tell me what you think um and also tell me what you think of the um doing the a wheel spinner every month tell me what you think of that too um okay guys i'm gonna stop waffling and i'm gonna leave you to it i'm gonna carry on with christmas brown bear and i'm gonna open my parcel so until tomorrow folks take care of yourselves and each other okay bye bye